Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm Mike Pence. <laughs> no, you're not. Huh? No, you're not. Kill gay people. Now I'm Mike Pence. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Does he really say that? Huh? He didn't say that, really. I mean, no, but... You can say that. Then. But there was that meeting where Trump's like, this guy wants to hang them all. <laughs> that, that doesn't mean he said it. Come on. Anyways, anyway, it's not that type of show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> let's try this again. All right, all right, take two, take two. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Tom Pop Future Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm Stephen Corker. I'm Juan Farage. We'll probably keep the other stuff in, but yeah, but just whatever. Just for official reasons, I'm Stephen. That's one. Uh, we're here to talk about the Cloverfield Paradox. It's not called Cloverfield Paradox. It's called The Cloverfield Paradox. Sure. It is the third installment in the Cloverfield verse. Yeah. It came out immediately following the Super Bowl yeah. from a Super Bowl ad. Mm -hmm. Now, apparently, a few people have told me that this was known. Like, everyone knew they were making a, a Cloverfield movie. I had no idea. Did you? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I knew there was another Cloverfield being made. I didn't know. I did not think it was going to be a direct to Netflix post Super Bowl, Bowl, Bowl thing. First of all, that alone right there, that's huge, right? That's pretty... I mean, Netflix probably invested a lot of money into this movie. Well, they obviously did. Yes. It's obvious. The casting was, like, on point. Yes. Um, but they obviously invested a lot of money, and these Super Bowl commercials ain't cheap. They're not cheap. Uh, when I saw the commercial, like, it, 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 it was one of my top favorite things, just because I'm such a huge fan of the Cloverfield verse. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I couldn't wait to watch the shit. I know a lot of people might disagree, but I always felt like Cloverfield 1 was the best Godzilla movie I've ever seen. Uh, it is definitely one of the best monster movies, if not the best monster movie yeah. I've ever seen as well. No. Um, and the, the thing that made Cloverfield great, we're talking about the first one, kids. Uh, I, I love the use of the camcorders, the whole Blair Witch style. Right. Um, and I love the fact that it was overdubbing the date that he had with the girl that he was trying to save on Coney mm -hmm. Island. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end of the movie, when they're in the br under the bridge in Central Park, like, it collapses on them. They obviously die there. And and uh, and it cuts back to him and her, like, on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, and you see, and, you and see the like, thing in the background. And they're just like, but it's not even about that. They're just like, oh, what a, what a you know, what a great day we had. Yeah. You know, it's just like, like, such a bittersweet fucking ending, you yeah. know? Like, really, really was great a good movie. storytelling. Uh, a really scary monster too. We we had no clue what the fuck it was even after yeah. the movie ended. Um, they ma they made it look like creepy government footage. Right. It, it was good. And I think it was a for a purpose, right? Because then for years Cloverfield Two was rumored, uh, and it was going to take uh, place around a military installation allegedly, yeah. and was going to go into the creation of this thing. Yes. But I guess they went a different route with the writing, obviously. Uh, clearly. Because clearly, I mean, we we always thought no. that the monster came from like under the sea. This yeah, year. some similar, military like, thing. Like Godzilla. Yeah. Sim similar origin as Godzilla. But I think the first one alluded to that. Uh, first one definitely did allude yeah. to that. So, uh, spoilers. If you didn't watch the Cloverfield Paradox, stop now. Go watch it. But here we go. Three, two, one. Well, first, let's talk about the fact that this had a ton of negative reviews. See, I Overwhelmingly negative reviews. I mean, it scored super low on Rotten Tomatoes, and to the point where it had—I hadn't seen it until you told me to watch it. Um, I was meaning to watch it, but it probably like a year from now when I got around to it because the the, the reviews were so negative. It actually discouraged me from watching the, sh the movie. Why? Why do you do that? You did the same shit with RoboCop remake, and that that was great. I thought it was terrible. It was great. See, so, yeah, I didn't like it. But the reviews definitely, uh, definitely kind of disheartened me uh, when it I came to watching the, the, it. The Fantastic Four, reboot, which was also horrible. The end was horrible. The third mm -hmm. act was bad. Everything leading up to it was great. So I just want to. We should start off the bat because that that actually really played a part into. May, it might have played a part into how I felt about the movie. All right. Well, listen. Unlike Wonski here, I'm a fan, and I don't care what the reviews say. If I'm a fan, I'm gonna brave through it, even if it is bad. Listen. Watching the movie, I will say this. I could see why people that are not fans of the universe would say this movie is a piece of shit. Because there were a lot of like. But it really wasn't a Cloverfield universe movie, right? I mean, Cloverfield 2 did the same thing. 
it's they're tied together, but they're not. Like, they're, they're, if you delete the Cloverfield movies, you still have a movie. You still have a movie, yes, yeah. and it's a standalone movie. Yes, and they tie in, but they don't tie in, they're, which is what I love. They're not direct yeah. sequels. By it's like means. people are going about their life while this shit is happening, and yes. I love that. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Um, the here's what I loved about the movie. I I thought. I thought it was super cool, the particle accelerator, the fact that there was no more energy on Earth, like a really like apocaly- a realistic apo- apocalyptic scenario, and then like opening the opening the the, the, the dimensions and space time, whatever, which can allow you know other things in you know w- which is where we got the monsters from now that we found mm-hmm. out, and they, then they go to parallel universes. Like I'm all about that shit, you know, and finding out like as you go through it, like some of the crew that 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 is from one world is not the crew that's from another world right and and how 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 the ship i forget what the name of the ship was that they were on uh just like merged together you know the mm-hmm. two universes the shepherd was it called the shepherd i think so because i instantly thought about mass effect it might not be called that you just might be thinking of mass effect it wasn't called the shepherd i don't know yeah i'm pretty sure it was a shepherd i don't know but uh it i i i enjoyed i enjoyed that part of it very much um what are you doing? I'm looking it up. Is it bothering you that much? Um, the the who's the, who's the guy that played that played the German guy that that he was Baron Zemo in Age of Ultron, right? Yeah. Great job that guy did. Um, like the the casting was really good. Here's the thing I didn't like about it. Like it it just first of all it wasn't scary guys. The trailer wants to make it feel scary, but it's really not a scary movie at all. Like, it wants to feel like an alien movie where, like, people just get knocked off left and right by some crazy shit. Um, but it's just not like that. Like, I, Wonsky, the best the best thing I could say is uh, when Wonsky and I were talking about this prior to, and he referenced Event Horizon. Yeah, it's a, it's a way worse Event Horizon. Yes, Event Horizon's a way better movie and way scarier, too. Yeah. Um, and people actually die from some weird shit. Like mm-hmm. people die in this movie. Don't get me wrong, but it's not. It's, it's pretty. It's not. It's nothing like Event Horizon. No, but like, but same concept. You know, right. they open us. They open us a, a tear in space time. Yeah, weird and, shit kills and them. weird shit kills them. Uh, well, well, I mean, what do you guys say about it? I love the movie. I thought the movie was awesome. Like I would, I would definitely recommend it to anybody. I mean, there's a lot of like plot holes and like bad science and stuff, but like you can, if you just, it's just you know, it's suspension of disbelief, man. It's fucking giant fucking monsters. Who cares? So if if you get beyond that and just like sit down and turn yourself off and just watch a movie, it's a really really great movie. I thought it was. Um, the casting was amazing. Like, they knocked it out of the park with a casting. Um, some of the stuff felt a little out of place. Like, I felt like I was laughing when I shouldn't have laughed. And I laughed a lot. Like when the worms busted out of the guy? No. The arm. The arm? Everything about that arm made me giggle. The arm was weird. It was funny. I like, his reaction to the arm was fun. Like, he wasn't... Like, I'd be screaming, my I, fucking I, arm. I'd be, right? f- I'd, be, I'd be flipping out, too. He was so, like, nonchalant. Yeah, he was... And, which made me laugh about it, yeah. right? And when the arm, like... is, And the, they give the arm a pen, like, yeah. laughed. That was pretty funny. Yeah. So that whole thing was... And the way it looked was, like, really weird, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought some of the deaths were awesome. Yeah. Um... Especially uh, the very, very very Final Destination esque the the Chinese you know? lady the Chinese lady that got frozen that got frozen that yeah. was such a cool fucking effect yeah yeah and the very end when uh, <clears throat> Mina gets killed was fantastic where she just gets blown out of the ship reminded me of Alien Resurrection yeah you know what I'm talking about yeah 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 I do when the when, mm-hmm. yeah um, I think it would have been cool if she would have been sucked out of the hole into like gush but that would make more sense yeah that would have been yeah. cooler. Because I'll tell you what, the science behind how the the Japanese girl or the Chinese girl died yeah. uh, with the frozen that was excellent. That's how that shit would go down, right? You know, because it's cold as fucking space. I, I I didn't care too much. I mean, so they had those cool deaths, but then like the ship captain was lame. What? How he he, he went sacrificed out. himself? Yeah. I mean, whatever. You know. I mean, when they, I'll tell you what though, that was a cool shot when they showed it when they were looking out the window and they showed it kept going. I was like, damn, that's that fucking sucks for him. Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Monk Monk's death was awful. Which one is he? The doctor. 
Oh, he just got shot. He just got shot. Yeah. Just whatever. That was by, pretty by, stupid. By the crazy. The worms was crazy. Brianna Tarth. Yeah, the worms was was crazy. The worms was crazy. Yeah. 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 How they all got inside the guy, and how the the gyro scope got in the guy's stomach. Too. Yeah. Yeah. That Weirdo. was. Yeah. That was. So um, and then so I liked a lot. I also was so interested in what was going down on Earth. Like whenever they would cut to her husband, yeah. I was like, please God, show me more. Like. I appreciated the movie for what it was, but I kind of wish they would have made that other movie. Yeah. Like, I wish we could have, like, maybe in the future they'll make it from his per- perspective while the space shit is going on. Like, what's going on in, in, in where he was. Like, that would have been cool to see. Yeah. So, well, um, I liked a lot about the movie. I, I, they're, they're rumored to do a Cloverfield 4. Yeah. Whatever it's going to be, who knows. Dude, I wish they would make 100 Cloverfield movies. I love what they're doing with this universe. I do like it, too. But, but you know... This movie obviously was not cheap to make. No. Um, and Cloverfield movies, you know, I, I'm, I'm guessing 10 Cloverfield Lane was probably pretty cheap to make. Yeah. But the first one and this one probably weren't, considering. Mm-hmm. And the first one actually might have been, actually. But uh, either either way, it, it comes down to the economics of it. But I enjoyed the universe thoroughly. Uh, the fact that at the end, like, the the NASA people or whoever the space administration people brought her home. Yeah. You know, and her husband's like, screaming like why did you do well let's talk about that scene to the end because why the appearance of that thing i want to get to other things before we talk about that um no i forgot what i was gonna say (laughs) like you ruined it from did i ruin you completely ruined my train of thought i'm derailed what do you mean derailed it's derailed what were you gonna say i don't remember completely derailed well listen listen lots of easter eggs in that the slush show yeah thing was in there which is appears in all the things newscasters um uh Apparently, the guy that was telling the conspiracy theories on the news report that they were saying about the dangers of the yeah, that was theater, Donald Donald Logue. Uh, basically, though, he's that, from Gotham. Yes, but aside from that, they're saying the character that he played is the brother of John Goodman's character in Ten Cloverfield. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, and then get this in in the footer of that news footage, there is a Twitter handle, which is a real Twitter account right now. Oh, which really? Which follow. Shit. That at this time has zero tweets. That is excellent. Yes. Excellent. I mean, they're doing a good job of, of, of creating this. You know, these Netflix movies, man, and again, you know what else got horrible reviews but I thought was fucking amazing? Bright. I didn't see Bright. Bright was fantastic. They're actually making another they are two making parts. Another uh, yeah. That all got a lot of shit, too, but I just think it's because it feels weird. Yeah. Right, like it, it's, and and I think that happened with Cloverfield too. It's a movie that didn't really n- want to know where. I mean, when I came out of the second Cloverfield, I was really uh, disappointed. You were, I see. I like Ten Cloverfield Lane. No, I, I eventually, I, I eventually, I like, I love it now. But I, I was initially disappointed because you're going in thinking Cloverfield too. Yes. Right. What well, you maybe, got? Maybe I don't know. I didn't know what I was thinking. I, I didn't know what to think. Well, but, it was called Cloverfield Lane. Yeah, but I, I knew it took place in like a a, a doomsday bunker. I, yeah, but it was way less of the monsters than what you thought. There wasn't any monsters. Right, at the end, the aliens. Aliens, which... The dog alien. Yes, which... which which. Here's my problem with the Cloverfield <clears throat> universe so far. There are inconsistencies as far as tying them together. I mm-hmm. think. Let's think about this for a second. In Cloverfield Paradox, the whole reason why they went to space to do the particle accelerator was because of this mass worldwide energy crisis. Yes, right? yes. Which they don't even talk about in the first Cloverfield. Right, because it might not be in that universe. We might have seen three movies from three universes. What we might be seeing is a ripple effect of this Cloverfield paradox in each individual universe. Well, that's that's just... Amazing. That is deep. Yeah. And that's an infinite number of movies. Right. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well, maybe that is... Because in the first one, you think that they would be talking about the fact that Europe has been at war for 10 years if it happened in that in that universe, right? In yeah. the one that we saw in Paradox, which it wasn't. There was also no energy crisis. But you know what I'm saying? So it could well, in be... The, in, the, in the first Cloverfield movie, it was basically like <clears throat> our, our yeah. Earth. Yeah, right, our, right. So I think it could just be different universes and all that stuff is, is going to be tied in in some massive spectacle. Who knows? So I don't think right now we can't call out plot like plot holes because they kind of um, insulated themselves against that. I guess you could. The thing that makes it a problem though, because in the marketing, they said if you want to know where the monster came from from the first movie, watch this movie. Yeah. 
So you automatically assume that they're tied together. Right, but not necessarily. All this movie did was open a hole in every other dimension. Yeah. And if you pay attention, I mean, they could go anywhere with the Cloverfield. When Donald Lowe was talking about what could happen when this, when this event, if they um, achieve this event, he talked about even demons. Like, you could see demons. So who knows where Cloverfield's going to go from here. So I love it. You're looking forward to, like, hell on Earth. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I love this shit. <laughs> so I'm super excited. And what's great is they could do... They're doing, like... You know, like, the next Cloverfield movie might be about two guys working at a fucking comic book shop while shit's happening. And that's just, like, a little part of what's... Act like, it's fantastic. I love that. Yeah. So I'm really excited, man. I hope they keep making this... Um. I, I love the movie. Now, the ending, that fucking... Are we talking about the ending now? Dude, that thing was huge. That thing was huge. It was kind of, it was kind of like the same thing that was in... Oh, way bigger than the one in First Cloverfield. Really? I yeah, the so. monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Its head went above the at the clouds in the atmosphere. Like, yeah, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. Like, that's world ending, right? Yeah. So, that was actually really cool. Yeah. What do you think? You think it's too big? No, no. I think it's great. I... I I, I love I love the monsters. Like I said, it, it's it the whole thing's great. The fact that the husband was yelling at the top of his lungs, like why do like yeah. don't bring her here, you know? Like like this is hell. Like you can only imagine what the fuck is going on on Earth. Right. You know, for for him to be like, Don't when you know damn well she's doomed on that space station too. Yeah. Like she's she double edged sword for her. You know, it's like right. the station's falling apart. There's no life support. Like, like they need to come back. Right, right. You know, or else they will die in space. But apparently, space is better to die in than on Earth. Like that. That was that was the image that 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 the guy, the husband, gave me at least when yeah. I watched it. And yeah, and the monster popping out was, it, it was it was money. It really was. Yeah, that was really well done. Yeah. Um, so, uh, do you want to see? Um, now, the one thing that bothers me is based on, on the three movies we've seen, they're probably not going to do a continuation of this movie, right? So we're not going to see Schmidt, who I loved, the German scientist, yeah, and uh, what's-her-name. Uh, we're not going to see them land on, like, the Delaware shore and fucking try to survive these things, right? I don't think so. Does that make you sad? I kind of want to see the story. I would like to see the story. The guy that plays Schmidt, right, who also was in the Marvel in, in Civil War. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. And sure. she was great. Too. They all were great. The casting was... I would not change a single person. Yeah. yeah. Even the guy that played Monk. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. Yeah. It was good. But the thing is, is that they... I think Bad Robot really needs to, with the, with the fourth one, try to be a little more cohesive and tie them in a little more. I don't think it could be a left field, totally unrelated thing. Yeah. Because I think, you know, I mean, people are, people are impatient. They're lazy. They, they, they are, they, they're not going to want to, but the, but the people that, have, that this movie would appeal to are used to this kind. Like, yeah, but that's a small group. The, of like this is like, they, they need to make money at the end. No, no, it's true. It's true. Yeah, because no. this is, to me, this plays out like it's a comic book event. Yeah, where you have the main story and a bunch of side issues. We saw part one and side issues. You're it, thinking it's it's time for a part two. It, I I'm with you. I'm with you. But I I just I think the next movie is gonna gonna be a little more cohesive and not so mm -hmm. like left field. Like I don't think we're gonna see a, a ten Cloverfield Lane type of movie. Yeah, you're gonna see like a, a, like a part one again. Something something to bring more people in. I think the people like you and I are committed. We're gonna watch it. Yeah. But they need to bring in new new watchers, because uh, you know what? In all honesty, yeah, Cloverfield came out what in two thousand eight, right? Well, yeah, a while yeah. Ago. Like yeah. like, they should just make a fucking TV series. Oh uh, well, well, it's like Fringe, but too but, expensive. I mean, I'm watching Altered Carbon right now. They're not sparing any expense right now. Yeah, but that that that's like an outlier, right? What do you mean? Like they're, they're you're not like that is the exception, right? You're not going to see a lot of Altered Carbons or Game of Thrones shows. I mean, Game of Thrones, as popular as it's been, has to end just because it's gotten so expensive. I know, it's ridiculous, it is. Yeah, I mean, they're they're fast-forwarding through it. Like, this probably should have been 10 seasons. Yeah, I know. Right? And so, because of the cost, they're like, you know? You've even seen in shows like Walking Dead, such a hugely popular show, like, the effects and the makeup has just gotten worse well, they're also as time goes on. Ass to the cast, yeah, too. yeah, and, and, but, but that's going to happen with any great show, so how much could they really make on an expensive show, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't. I, if but but I I get the I get the economics of it, but it would be so ideal to have it. It would be awesome because but that's I think Cause, just because we want to see more. They could explore the alternate reality thing right, you right. were talking about, you know. Right, right. Um, 
versus maybe like a mini series. Yeah, yeah, but versus like like no. you get a ten you you get a ten episode you know series you know you're not gonna we're not gonna get ten Cloverfield movies we're just not yeah right like, I highly doubt we're gonna get ten more movies you know yeah maybe one two more right, right. maybe three if we're lucky but I doubt any more than that mm-hmm. you know the the audience the audience likes it but it's a very small segmented audience and it's not. Well, again, we got to see. We might be surprised. Remember, and, and again, I go back to Bright. Bright was panned by by the critics, right? And it ends up being like one of the most watched uh, things on Netflix ever. And I mean, I, they, 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 Iron Fist got high ratings too. That don't mean it was good, you know. But or but we don't hear that it's good. It doesn't mean like it's a guilty pleasure. You know what though? We're hearing highest viewership ever from Netflix. Netflix does not officially release their ratings. That's true. You know. It could be propaganda on behalf of Netflix because Netflix put a ton of money behind it, and they want to get more people to watch. Yeah, it. but but you know? even if they did that, they wouldn't come into two extra movies, which I'm sure aren't cheap. I mean, how much does it cost to get Will Smith alone, right? Yeah. So I think uh, we'll see if Will Smith's even going to be. I in this I, one. But, yeah. I, I hope I hope that they. I want to see a universe made out of Bright, but I really hope that Cloverfield really. I could see it becoming something big, man. You know, it'd be great if they tied it into Pacific Rim. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Yeah, that'd be good. Like same unit. All of a sudden, you find out like, like maybe in the next Cloverfield at the end of their movie, they're building the first fucking uh, mech. Yeah. Mech. That'd yeah. be great. That would be good. But let me. Here's the good thing about the Cloverfield universe. J.J. Abrams is behind it 100. percent It's his baby. Yeah. And J.J. is kind of like the new Spielberg. You know, he's getting all like the top projects. Yeah. You know, all the studios love him. They all want to work with him. His name on stuff sells tickets yeah so with that said since he's got that type of star power he's able to push cloverfield and probably use it as a bargaining tool to do other things as well. right that's true so you know with that said i think we'll see more cloverfield just depends on how much i enjoyed the movie you guys should watch the movie do you have anything else to say about the movie no i, I think everyone please watch this movie it's definitely worth seeing yeah for sure uh, in other news, uh, Black Panther comes out this week. We're going to yeah. watch it. We're going to do our review on it. Uh, the reviews that movie are, are, is getting are, are wow. They're, say, they're saying it's like they're setting ex- they're they're setting my expectations really high. Really high. They're saying it's like Marvel's Shakespearean yeah movie yeah which like I'm I mean T'Challa is not going to die. It's not like Hamlet. No right. Yeah, but but it could be. I mean, we got to see it right. But I, I think Marvel, I think well, with... Gonna die. We see him no, 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 I'm, no, no, I mean, we got to... I mean, we see him in Avengers. We got to see the movie to see if it justifies being called, like, Shakespearean, but... Um, Either way, it's groundbreaking. It's groundbreaking. It's a mainstream superhero movie with a nearly all-black cast, never mm-hmm. been done before. Just from a social standpoint, it's, it's groundbreaking. Uh, right. And it means a lot to, you know... To not just African Americans, but but black people around the world. It means know? a lot to every race. Like this is something that's important to all of us. Um, but 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 seriously, like I was at the bank today, and uh, and I had to get a check for, and it said the word comics in the check, and 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 the teller was a black lady, and and like she just she just goes, oh wow, she's like I can't wait for Black Panther. Like like there's there's an awareness in that community about this yeah. more so than ever. It's it's it it's it's like. It's like people that aren't even into these type of movies are going to go see it just based on the principle alone. No, oh, and and they need to, and I think it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing because you want, you know, like. No, it's good. It's 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 it's. No, I hope that hasn't though as important, and I see it is. I hope that's not going to, to. I hope that hasn't stained uh, objective viewers' minds to whether or not it's a good movie. I mean, I'm going with a clear mind. That's not going to affect whether I like the movie or not. It looks like it's going to be a great action I mean, movie. Listen, I, I don't. I'm not going to judge movies based on who the actor is, unless or, the or their soft. social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, but yeah. I am super excited. I am a little. The the reviews that it's getting has made me a little nervous. Um, the last time I saw reviews like this was for Blade Runner. Blade Runner met all my expectations. Not mine. Um, Mad Max also got reviews similar to this. Also met my expectations. What about Wonder Woman? So did not meet my expectations. See, here's the problem with these superhero movies. They do great all the way up into the third act. Yeah. The third act is always just a fucking shit show. Right. You know, like uh, what what kind of crazy fight can we have and how our hero wins? You know. Yeah. And that's really what determines that the movie is just right. Perfect. So so we'll see because they're calling this groundbreaking. I thought. 
you know, compared to the last two movies, like I said, Blade Runner and Mad Max, those actually lived up to the hype. Wonder Woman did not live up to the hype. I hope this does because you said the importance. I hope matches the quality. Yeah. You know, and uh, I am excited for it. I'm, I'm predict. I, it'll probably be second highest grossing movie this year after Avengers if not close to Avengers I think Avengers is going to get a big push off of this movie I don't think it's going to be the second I don't think it's going to be Solo or Derek I, I think it's going to be both Um, like you said this is attracting a whole new crowd not and 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 how about this do you think marvel it's it turns out to be a smart move that they're released it almost feels like this movie is going to sell people into the avengers movie that wouldn't have normally seen it just to follow the black panther character could be and they'll could probably be. follow him right into that movie i believe if it was reversed avengers is not going to bleed into black panther but yeah. the other way around is going to happen we'll see i mean uh, we're looking forward to it. thursday we're yep. gonna watch it guys uh and uh that's about it, right? Yeah. Other than that, if you have not seen The Cloverfield Paradox, watch The Cloverfield Paradox. However, if you have not seen Cloverfield, we recommend you watch that movie first. It's just a great movie. Uh, just Yeah, just because number one, it's a great movie. And number two, it, it it's related. 10 Cloverfield Lane, I don't think you have to watch it. To watch I mean, you movie. don't have to, but, but... you should. But I feel it adds on to this movie because... Yeah. It, it, it's a shock going into Justice movie without not understanding what they did with Ten Cloverfield Lane. Yeah. Right, which was the Cloverfield stuff was background noise. It's like watching The Disaster Artist, but not watching The Room. Yeah, right. Which I haven't yeah. seen either of those yeah. movies, but so. that's what I heard. Yeah. Uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, like I said, I'm running for Congress, so please check me out, stephencorker.com. Uh, and if you want to uh, help out or contribute or uh, donate your time a volunteer uh, it'd be much appreciated uh, you can come to the Pines location we have all the information there to make that happen for you uh, and either way register to vote it's voting season 2018 midterm elections other than that uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already uh, search Corker Comics on YouTube.com or go to YouTube.com forward slash Corker Comics we have two locations one in Miami on 107th and 8th across from FIU and another in Pembroke Pines on University Drive just east of, I mean, on Pines Boulevard, just east of University Drive across from Perry Airport. You got anything else? No. Okay, for a Tom and Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I am Stephen Corker. I'm Mike Pence. Just, dude. Stop. What? You don't even look like Pence anyways. I can sound, you want me to sound like Pence? Yeah, how, how's he sound? Hang the gays. <laughs> he doesn't say that. Yeah, I just sounded just like him. No. <laughs> I would be Donald Trump, but then I'd have to deport myself right out of this fucking show. I'm Juan Farach. That's like a double whammy, right? If Trump walked in there, what's your name? I'm like, it's Juan and Farach? Holy fuck. I'd be deported and on a terror watch list. <laughs> the, the Olympics happened this week, too. Yeah, can can all these news media stop fawning over Kim Young Un's sister? This guy fucking murders people and tortures people. Yeah, like his sister is probably not cool people's. Yeah, so shame on you, CNN. All right, well that's not what this show's about. We'll see you guys later, though. Uh, Black Panther review coming up next, followed by Altered Carbon. Check out that show too, guys. That show's great. Um, you know, it'd be funny if we did if we did the Black Panther review and I was in, stating character as Donald Trump. You can't even do his voice, huh? Do his voice. It, no, we don't need to do. It. I'll get like a wig and I'll paint myself fucking orange and then I'll just talk like him. Please do that. I want to have that. We'll have the whole review of me as Donald Trump. Do it. Do Fine. It. All right. Do it. It's on. Are you serious? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm. I'm okay. Good. All right. All right. <laughs> this is gonna happen. Great. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.